Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing another one of the astrology series classes and that is Gemini and I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that this is one of the signs that are difficult for me because I don't have a planet in Gen Gemini, I do have Gemini in my chart but no planet in Gemini, however I really connect with Gemini's because of the communication and the lightning fast thought that Gemini's are associated with. So Gemini on a more spiritual level, when you look at the sign, um, after Pisces, Pisces is the end of the cycle, the completion of the cycle, we have the next three signs, which we covered, the first two and now the third. Aries, Taurus and Gemini, when you look at them, they're the true beginning. This is the beginning of existence, symbolically and spiritually speaking. So with Aries being the divine spark, the closest one to the divine and really coming down directly from the divine and with Taurus, really trying to Taurus when they're in the highest expression of the meaning of the sign, there is the divine being preserved in the material, keeping the divine spark within the material. Gemini permeates, permeates the entire chart and really allows us to weave opposites and concepts together into one. So it's truly the sign of love and the sign that is present in all or connected to all uh, the, uh, the other 11 signs because all the other 11 signs look for um, connectedness, connection between each other and Gemini is the connecting sign, is the one that connects the opposites, that connects the material and the physical, the soul with the body because with Gemini we're preparing for cancer where actually it's the first of the physical signs. Here we're still in the land of um, concepts with the first three signs. It is existence is still a concept and Gemini becomes, the consciousness becomes, in Gemini the consciousness becomes aware of itself. So this is a big step and concepts are born and opposite concepts are born. Duality is now uh, a thing that Gemini contemplates and also weaves it together. The thing that weaves everything together, the thing that permeates everything is not just consciousness because the consciousness does permeates in the entire universe, but it's also love. So Gemini truly expresses that quality, is the sign of love and the duality that is woven together. So even though it's two, when you weave the opposites together, you're really speaking of one. And it's really, when you speak of the spiritual signs, the spiritual sides of the signs, those are concepts that are sometimes hard to grasp or hard to express and communicate and really be clear and uh, concise when you say those kind of out there concepts. So I hope that gave you an idea of where I'm coming from. Now, Gemini also represents on a more mundane level, communication, speech, uh, thought, and the energy of lightning fast or the speed of lightning fast. So everything is fast with Gemini. Even connection is fast, thought, r realizing new concepts. Everything is happening real fast. And um, Gemini really sparks and preserves and mends together those concepts into one, opposing sometimes concepts into one, so that we understand that the body and the soul are connected. They are... <sighs> On a more physical level, they're connected, and a more spiritual level, they are one. And it's a really big concept. So now we're gonna go ahead and do Gemini, but you see how big that sign is to cover, and especially to cover something that is so, such a broad and such a beautiful and such an, um, mysterious concept, mystical also concept, but uh, we're going to do a fast class hmm. <laughs> to honor Gemini and to really honor communication, oneness and the mending of the two. Um, on a more global level, Gemini is the sign that 
connects all races, people of all walks of life, uh, all genders. It just brings everything together into union and it can, it can really bring that connection. So let's remember to flow with strength and ease. We're going to begin by walking to the front and moving the arms forward and back. And then walking back and moving the arms back and forth. As if you're weaving connection between the front and the back and they become one through that thread. We're synthesizing the directions and bring the breath in and then now we're going to bring the spine as we take steps. <laughs> Gemini is one of the three air signs, the signs of communication, beautifully represents that relatedness, connection, oneness within the duality. And let's begin to really bring the spine in. So you're warming up and really feeling, rounding the back, opening the chest, rounding. And now when you round also, Give me just a little bit of a stomach vacuum, so. Great, and we're gonna step at the front, reach over the head. Reach to one side, and to the other. And with each, movement that brings the left and the right into the picture feel the oneness the connecting threads between the right and the left the weaving material which is everything is connected through consciousness and back to center exhale down Gemini is always trying to communicate that divine unity. So we're gonna bring the left hand down, right arm up, reaching from, from the ground into the universe, the cosmos, the heaven, reaching up, reaching down, and change. Vacuum. So hands on to right above the knees. Exhale. And again, exhale. Downward facing dog. And 
just walking in place here. Inhale the right leg up, open the right hip, lift the right knee, drop it behind and well thing. Exhale the right hand behind you and take reverse plank. And lift back into wild thing. And both hands on the floor, step the right foot to the front, circle the right hand, one, two, three, four, five, and open up. Exhale, both hands down and squeeze your right knee into your chest and across and take now the left hand up into wild thing and bring both hands down and squeeze your knee up again and step it through again right leg again take the right arm up twist come up and glide the right hand down lift Hands in prayer, prayer twist, both hands on the right side of your mat, walk them away from you, flex your feet, roll onto the other edge of the right foot and feel that opening here and walk it back to the front, step it back. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, downward facing dog, breathe, inhale, the left leg up and lift the knee, step it behind, Wild thing. And bring both hands behind you. Reverse plank. And back to wild thing. the left foot through and spin the left arm big circle feel that warming up the back the shoulder four and five and squeeze the left knee in and bring it across and take a wild thing here And squeeze the knee back in and step it through and take a twist and come up in that twist and hands in prayer twist prayer and bring your hands both onto the outside Roll onto the other edge of the left foot and somewhat the other edge of the right as much as you can, walking the hands out and getting a little nice stretch here. And back to the front. This time we're going to step at the front and sweep up tall. Exhale, hands over the heart. Round the back, bring the backs of your hands together and open and a few more
and from here reach the hands over the head take your left foot off the floor take a step back and twist around so the right arm reaches up and step at the front and take the right leg back into a lunge and twist around to your right and then step it at the front and one more of those focusing here on the sides basically stepping at the front take a big step sweeping step twist step at the front 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 and hold here arch exhale down inhale look ahead of you plank chaturanga upward facing dog chaturanga downward facing dog Breathe. Inhale the right leg up and give me a little hop here. Step the right foot through and come up into a lunge. Left leg lifting, knee slightly out so we're engaging the inner thigh rather than the hip flexor in this lift. And step it back. Jump again and step it through. One move, lift, pull the belly in and step it back, hop it, step it through, come up. So everything is working here. You're feeling your core, you're feeling your back, one cohesive move. You're not separate body parts, but everything is mending together through the core, through the fascia. Again. four nice sweeping moves five six straight back strong core seven Chaturanga and up dog and down dog. Look under the right shoulder and under the left. Smile. Smile and feel the fabric that is the building, the building block, the building thread, the woven thread that is woven into everything of existence. I do believe that we can feel those things um, with our higher consciousness, of course, not always with the thinking mind. But we can tune in, fine tune, tune into a radio station frequency and feel things that are a little hidden, that are not easily seen by the physical eye and left leg comes up a little hop. step it through really straight back one nice coming up and knee out kind of ballet style you can do the <laughs> ballet arms really feel the core feel your gracefulness and back and lift and come up and lift up 
and go back and hop and step it through really all core be fascia be core feel it be breath coming onto all fours spread the fingers wide open and we're going to lift the knees over the floor take the left knee in and across and tap it down and bring it back and again same left one two three four and five and opposite side one two three four and five and hold them here and let's lift uh, shift forward and shift back one sit back towards the heels two three no sitting actually it's just a term five and down dog the right leg up step it through warrior one to warrior three to warrior one Stepping at the front, wrapping the left leg around the right and the right arm above the left, everything mending together. <laughs> twist and bring right knee into the left into the left foot hands behind you forehead touching shift hands behind you forehead touching this is a full spinal twist shift again and again Travel, lay onto your belly, push into plank and stand in down dock again. Take the left leg up, step it through, warrior one. To 
worry, Eti. Stepping in the front, wrap right leg around the left, right arm under, left over, above the right, relax the elbows away from you, shoulders softening. Breathe in, unwrap the legs only. Right leg down, twist in a seated twist here. Release and bring the right knee to your right, left knee into the right foot. Out and around and behind. Forehead to the ground. Really enjoy that twist that is going all the way through. The legs come up, change. And really reach and lower down. This really goes into the IT band, the psoas, the hips, obliques. signs one of the air signs one of the first three those are it, the groups one of the dual signs here we beautifully see how duality is brought together into oneness so souls of the feet together Extend the legs in front of you and we're going to do a twist to the left with the legs extended, full spinal, this is self-adjustment, really beautiful for the spine, opposite side, come halfway up and lay onto your belly <laughs> seamlessly. So here we're going to press up, jump the legs in, hop up. Jump down onto the belly and roll to the other side and press up and squat jump and nice childlike roll, opposite side and press up, hop up, jump up, roll. I have a few obstacles here, a doggy, a mic, a few walls and it makes it fun. <laughs> Roll. Jump. <laughs> Leg. Roll. Jump. Roll. And hop. Jump. And you can come up and walk to the front of the mat. A little hopping, lifting over the head, arching, exhale over the heart. Now Gemini rules the hands and the double organs in the body, which is kidneys, eyes, <laughs> it's quite a few ears, lungs, but it, in a higher sense, in its deeper and higher layer, it also rules the heart because it is that love brings those opposite physical concepts together. So every time we do yoga, we remind ourselves of union. Every time 
we become silent, we can experience it. It has a texture to it. And every time we bring the hands together, we remind ourselves of the union of the opposites. Ultimately, everything is one. We're all one. There is no you. There is only me. <laughs> and that is a beautiful thing when we all realize it. We'll create a society that is based on cooperation and harmony and beauty and healing and of course love. All right, let's flow. Exhale down. Inhale, look ahead of your plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. We're going to take the right arm up only here in down dog. Circle it, the left, the right, the left. Pull the belly in, right, and left. Bring them down, take the right leg up. Step it through, high lunge. One sweeping move, left either knee or foot to the right hand and look behind you. Warrior three. And hands onto the leg. Standing half splits. Step it back and come straight up into high lunge. Sweeping move, either grab your knee or your foot. Look back, twist. Warrior three. Step it back, lunge, and twist. Warrior three. And standing half split and plank. And chaturanga and up dog and down dog. And take the left leg up. Step it through, high lunge. And we're going to do the same thing over to the other side. Step it through, twist, look behind, warrior three. Standing half splits, high lunge, twist, foot hold. Warrior three. Standing half splits. Lunge. Twist. Warrior three. Standing half splits. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Now we're facing dog. Breathe. right foot on the outside of the left leg and take the left leg up twist it into your elbow and reverse that move it requires your entire body's involvement and again really feel your core your muscles your fascia One last set, last one, plank. And here we're going to bring the knees down and 
lower down, booty up, chin down. Here you can take your legs off the floor. And lift your chin off the floor and chest. Great. And up dog. And down dog. Let's bring the knees on the ground one more time. Take the right leg out, left shoulder down. Take the right arm up. This is the thing. I featured this pose in the last maybe five classes. I think from the Roots program. We've been doing it quite a while, uh, quite a lot. Coming out and just get a little inner thigh stretch. happen come out take the left leg out right shoulder down twist surrender feel the gravity helping you you can wrap that top arm left around you don't have to and Stretch, inner thigh stretch. And plank. Chaturanga. And child's pose. Breathe. Here we're going to walk the hands over to the right and stretch the entire left side of the body still in child's pose and walk the hands gently to the left leaning into that side of the body i'm doing this class in sun in gemini <laughs> so even if i don't have a planet in gemini right now the energies are gemini and i have quite a bit of Gemini in my progress chart and back to child's pose let's lower the hands down for a partial or a full headstand walk your feet in and lift press into your elbows down back into child's pose reminding yourself to breathe consciously Inhale the hands over the head, down dog. Take the right leg up, open the hip. Wild thing. And you can stay in wild thing or go into wheel. And reverse. Step the right foot through, come up high lunge. We're going to lower the back knee down and reach back, crescent, lunge. Hands right in front of the right foot. Kick your left heel up, engaging the hamstrings and body. And then hop up and again, touch the floor, kick the heel up and hop up to three four again the connectivity in the core four five six seven eight nine 
10 and step it back. Vinyasa. Take the left leg up, open. Wow thing. You can stay in wow thing. We're going to wheel. Reverse it. Step it through. High lunge. Drop the back knee. Deep in that lunge, crescent, feeling that stretch through the front of the thigh, hip flexors. Let's bring the hands in front, kick the back heel so the leg kicks up straight, toes down, and if you touch your hamstring, it should be all engaged here. So. Don't bend too much, don't twist the leg too much, really find that engagement. And hop up, kick, hop up, really feel everything with the movement. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and plank and lay down lay onto your belly and we're going to bring the hands underneath underneath the forehead and begin to lift one leg and then the other now you can lift them both but double pat your mat <laughs> underneath your hip bones if you lift one, really feel the muscles. Lift that heel. And let's start counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands underneath the shoulders. Sit onto your booty. Soles of the feet together in gliding away from you in a diamond shape lean forward and lay back into plow and roll out of plow into squat hold the squat hop up and lay back now, Gemini is a very, very playful sign, all about fun and playfulness. So we're moving around, not serious. Squeeze squat, jump squat, plow. Don't be perfect, just have fun. Plow, squeeze squat, jump squat. Plow. Squeeze squat, jump squat, plow, 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 squeeze squat. Jump squat, plow, squeeze squat, hold. And here we're going to touch the left hand to the right foot, right hand to the left foot. One more, one, two, jump squat, roll back. Squeeze squat, twist touch, two, three, four, jump. Roll, twist, four, jump, squeeze, jump, 
squeeze, twist, jump, squeeze, jump, squeeze, twist, jump. I hope your thighs are feeling something. <laughs> Twist, jump, squeeze, twist, jump, and now hold plow. Shame in the shoulders. Shoulder stand. And lower down. We're going to bring the right knee in. Left leg a few inches off the floor. Change. Now when you change, just reach forward and change and change and change now reach over the head straight up towards the ceiling one two three four now reach with the right hand a little further back but keep your lower back down one two three four switch the hands one two three four both hands but your limitation will be how far you can reach back without getting the back of the floor so press the lower back into the floor and let's go one two three four very good supine twist and changing i like to call those stretchy poses style touch and go and bring your hands behind your knees rock up to sit it and we're going to twist our knees to the left and to the right one two three four five step your right foot down left knee one two lifting the whole leg and engaging the inner thigh five opposite side one two three four five now more with the um, abdominal squeeze so we're extending and bringing in one two three four five opposite side one two three four five and now we're going to draw a circle with the toes one two three four five fill the belly opposite side one two three four five reach forward sitting so you can remove the flesh of your bum so that you can sit onto the top, the head of the sitting bones. Pull the belly in, lengthen the spine. We're sitting in a way that's comfortable and that allows you to find your natural alignment. You can, you can place something underneath your bum. We're going to reach back and forth here. One, two, three, four, five, opposite, left to right side reaching. One, two, three, four, five. Reaching again, oneness with the hands, the left and right, and twist or spin around to plow. Take the right foot through, glide the left knee on the floor. So it's going to be on the floor right behind, right behind your right heel. 
and we're going to come up and lower down one two three four five now take the toes under touch the floor and jump up like a child start child one two three four five let's keep going six seven eight nine ten that's your bonus plank pull the belly in. step it through bring the left knee in and we're gonna come up one two three four five take the toes under stagger level square the hips one two three four five six seven eight nine ten here you're going to step the right foot back a deep twist chair twist stepping the feet at the front change sides a deep twist lunge twist and you can squat down in the form of a yogic squat and sit down forward fold Spread the legs open, forward fold. And reach over the right leg, left leg. And here you can point your toes and reach with the right hand over, left hand over. And lay down <laughs> now you can bring your hands over your body we did this in the burdock class just this is so Gemini we often lack touch we often lack self awareness not only conscious or awareness of our own consciousness but also awareness, lack awareness of the body. So touch brings awareness. So you can touch your belly. You can give yourself a hug. That is a technique used by certain psychologists to bring about a sense of going in burrowing ourselves in the depth of the womb or safety or the earth opposite you can change arms here just give yourself a hug and feel the touch when you touch your shoulders bring your awareness to that and lay shavasana allowing all concepts to come and go to move through you without the need to create conclusions but rather to stay fluid and open to listen to see the opposites the opposite opinion to see the oneness to see the connectivity connection connectedness a big breath as the thread that connects us all this emptiness of the material world which is mostly empty mostly vacuum connects us all when we all inhale mostly vacuum and when we all are mostly built of that vacuum we all realize how much we're all 
one in terms of physics and in terms of science actually and al allowing all complication to melt away and to see the oneness and simplicity of everything the love that connects everything even if it is forgotten the light I'll let you stay here for as long as you need to, allowing yourself to be, to be free, to be open, to be love, the most important thing, to experience love, to be love, to be connected. And I'll play some tree frogs, absolutely magical, Tree frogs that were recorded in our front yard during a full lunar eclipse. So you can just listen, drift, and be. I'll see you with my next class. Namaste.